Hello, people of America. Cool Creeper here. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. Yo. Today, we are going to do a review. But this time, it's not a Dragon Ball Z toy review. It's actually this. Now, one of you guys might have seen this before. This is a Bluetooth gamepad that I got like two or three weeks ago. I should have done a review on it on the day I got it. Yeah. Yeah. It's for PC and no like PC, smartphones and tablets, all that kind of stuff, yeah. It's pretty cool. And um here's here's the charger to it. And um and here's the manual. Let me just open let me just open it for you guys to see. Now as you guys noticed there is a white one too, but I got the black one. And all this stuff is written in Japanese, Korean, Chinese, I, or whatever, I can't tell the difference. But luckily on the other side, it's written in English. So yeah, the, I'm guessing it's, gonna, it's Japanese. The Japanese people did a really good job building this controller. iPad, iPhone, like compatible with the iPad. See, it says compatible with the iPad and iPhone, as long as it has Bluetooth. Our testing games are 1, Cody, Robot Cody, 2, Sleepy Jack X, 3, Sonic 4, Epic, and most simulated games on the market. I'm guessing that one says Sonic 4 Episode 1. And here's the da da da. Now, so let's get a review. Okay, so yeah, it's basically like an. Xbox 360 or PSD controller looks different. It has two joy, two joy pads. One for to move the character, and one for the camera. And here's and here's the buttons that the Xbox 360 controller had, but different colors that the PlayStation 3 controller has. And PlayStation 2, like A, B, Y, X. For A is blue, which is supposed to be green. B is red, which is supposed to be. I mean, actually, B is red, supposed to be red, like the circle. Y is try. Y is green, like the triangle button, and X is pink, like the square button. And A is blue, like the X button. And here's the start button here. And the and the select button. And and here is the, is, there's like different version of this, like this D-pad, this d I mean, the D-pad looks like a regular D-pad you see every day, but this one looks different, but it can still be modified as a D-pad. And here's the home button. Impress, it says home. Here's the back of it. And here's and here's the charge. Charge again. Now you can charge. It just needs an adapter, like any adapter, like an iPhone, iPad, or Android adapt adapter. If you plug it in here, which is somewhere right, yeah, right there, it will start blinking and. Stops in a minute, and then it's just charge, charge. And you can't tell what percent it is. Now, this is my end. This is my Android tab. Split. You wanna? The reason why I got, I um, the reason why I put it here, why I put it here, is so I can show you how how it can connect and play. Like, it plays like these apps with these buttons on it. I mean, it's cool, but it's really kind of hard. Well, on the night, well, it's it's really hard, especially on the tablet since it's so far apart, and you can reach them thinking you're pressing them. So I'm gonna show you how it's connected.
and look. He has a pair of Bluetooth device. If you can see, it's Bluetooth. And now, I'm going to connect it. Oh, let me turn it the other way. And now I just need to hold it close. Pair, press pair to Bluetooth device. Pair of Bluetooth device. Device. Um, and then it starts scanning, and you need to hold the button. Yeah, it starts blinking. And then when you see the icon that says a BT gamepad that pops up, you just click. You just tap it. And it said it's pairing. This may take a while. And there we go. It's paired. Now you just press the B button to go back and it can control the menu. And you press the A button to the left. Now, if you press it again, it will switch to a player 2. And the player 2 will show a mouse here, which is right here. And then player 3 is awkwardly down here, which is supposed to be a player 4 on Xbox 360. And there's player 4, which is supposed to be a player 3. Now I am going to show you, you a play through, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to play a little bit. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I downloaded this and... This Nintendo 64 app called Mopin 64 Plus AE or something. Yeah. I'm going to show you the gameplay. I'm going to play two Super Smash Bros. No. Now watch. This is good. Now, now here's all of the characters. You see Mario, DK, Link, Samus, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Fox, Kirby, and Yoshi. I don't have Ness, Luigi, and Captain Felt. Yeah. Jigglypuff was easy to on. Alright, now let's get started. I'm gonna be, um... What the heck, I'll be Mario. No. Yeah. I'm gonna play. I guess I will castle. Sorry if my tablet's too bright. See this, this um, this game pad's great for any app that has this button on it. And if you're wondering, alright, what the controls are. The A button, which is right there, is the A button here. The B button is the X button. The four C buttons are the, is the right analog stand. And to move, it's obviously the left. And then the, the D pad, it's just, you know, you can move left or right. Well, not with the cutter. You just like select on the home menu. And, um,. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you these buttons. It says L. It has the PlayStation 3 buttons. L, L, T, L2, R1, and R2. Now the yellow version has like... Like LB, left bumper, left trigger, right trigger, right bumper, and yeah. Sorry, these are the PlayStation... Three controller. The Z, the Z button is the O2. The L button is the LT, and the R button is the R1 button. So yeah, and you can still play it with like this, but 
It will be kind of difficult. So I recommend you get one of these. Getting beat up. Dang. Okay. I'm gonna exit in. Yeah, so this is a Bluetooth game pad. And yeah, now it won't now it won't work on other apps. Like if any apps that have doesn't have buttons like labeled on it. So yeah. So yeah, if you if you ever wanna get any Bluetooth controller gamepad, got this for like 13 bucks on eBay. Yeah, like I said, I recommend you get, like I said, I, I recommend you get one of these and play and then connect it to your device, phone or tablet or computer, and enjoy. Yeah. Well, I guess that's I guess that's gonna have to do it for this review of this review of this Bluetooth game pad. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time on the next episode. Again, this isn't the episode. What? Whatever. Shut up.